you stayed up late working on your class assignment. You recorded your thoughts, you took some pictures, you even shot some video. It's awesome. Now that it's all together, you start to ask yourself, how will I submit this finished work and who's ever going to see it when I do? I could mail it to my prof, or use carrier pigeons, or burn a CD, or use the assignment Dropbox in the learning management system, but these all seem pretty locked down. I want my work to be seen, I want my voice to be heard. What about publishing it to the web with an open license? Well, what do we mean by open? There's lots of definitions of open content, but generally it means that anyone can access it, it's free, and people can take what you've done and build on it to make something new. So, what's the advantage? Well, sharing is nice, we know that. Open publication can provide positive exposure to your digital identity. Most publishing sites offer flexible embed tools for reusing your material wherever you want on the web, and you'll be contributing to your overall discipline of study. Okay, so what does a digital license look like? The most common licenses are from Creative Commons. There's lots of CC licenses to choose from depending on the level of usage rights you wish your license to work under. It's up to you to choose. Once you've chosen your license, you'll need to upload your work to the web. This web page can recommend some great places to publish your open content. Many of these publishing sites offer open license options as part of the uploading process. That means you can attach your chosen license at the same time. There's lots of great ways to mark your content with an open license, whether it's a video or text or an image or even software. Look for this Creative Commons PDF online for more information on how to mark your content as open. Okay, so you've submitted your open content assignment to your class folder. You've shared a link to it on your Facebook page. You've even embedded it as part of your personal e-portfolio. Great stuff! But the real surprise comes when you start to notice your work being used around the web with your name attached to it. That's where open licensing really starts to make sense. So, the next time you create something great for class, consider sharing it with more than just your professor. Remember, the open web is yours to control. You can share your genius and retain your rights. You can contribute to the knowledge pool and get the credit you deserve. Created using Powtoon.